Alright, so this is going to be the aftermath for the 2002 Ford Focus wagon. Uh, this car was previously rolled over during the winter and purchased for 150 bucks. It was a pretty clean car to begin with. And, uh, I mean, it took its own. It went out into the heat in the fuel pump. It took a few shots and the fuel pump actually came. It's an in-tank fuel pump. Uh, in the line. So, when it took a few shots, the gas line was sitting on top, clamped down to that pump. That and the wires came disconnected, and the pump just went ploop right into the bottom of the tank. So, that's what took the car out in the heat after three or so hits. Uh, not much damage at all in that. But then we got it fixed and brought it out to the consolation where, as you can see, it got used up pretty good. Um, trunk pan and everything is squished to the wheels up towards the axle right now and it's just sitting there. Granted, if this car would run, then it could get another run, but it is pretty far gone. Uh, front end wise, this frame rail is starting to shift over that way, and that one's actually starting to shove outward that way. So, this is laying over to the left. It took some good abuse up in the front. So you can see uh, the frame rail separated from the sheet metal there and bent right there and was starting to kick over to the side. This side, it's kicked there, and then it kicks back over in front of the strut tower. You can't see it. It's just underneath that cap right there, that reservoir. And this was the V, or, uh, sorry, Z Tech. I never heard of this until this car came out. And uh, it was, this was a bone stock chain and bang basic build. And uh, we, didn't even, we didn't even chain the hood down. We just had the factory latch still there, which I think we were supposed to remove, but. It's sitting over there now. It got ripped off when it got here. Uh, the car went through the Concy. It's a five-speed car, and it was a relatively strong running car. It held its own up until third place in the Concy out of 25 cars. I believe it was 25. This car was cherry red, and I mean cherry red to the point where it does a convert. Right down here in the front. I don't know if you guys can see that through the hoses right down there. But I keep getting told and told and told again this car caught fire in the heat and actually got caught fire after the heat because it was so hot. I was told that converter was cherry red the whole time we were running the uh, consolation for a good majority of the Concy. And uh, I actually know for a fact it was catching fire because it was so hot, the flame was shooting out underneath the car. It was melting almost everything underneath the car and in the car. It actually started to melt uh, the floor carpet and if you can see this up here, the duct tape actually started melting up here coming through the vents from how hot it was. Melted right here, down in there, through the door. It was starting to melt the whole front of this car just about off. So, at this point, have we tried starting this car yet? Yeah, we've done it. We've tried, and uh, I'm gonna try again in a later date, but as of right now, I think we fried her up. Because every time I try to start it, it's just acting like it's uh, a broken ground or something. But. Every time I start it, I get more burnt smell and everything else coming out of this car. So I can only imagine how the pistons and everything else looks on the inside of that motor. For what it's worth though, this motor did take the abuse and this car did take plenty of abuse in that Concy. We were, I mean, I was getting people up here on my bumper and I'd wait for them to start trying to shove me in reverse and then I'd put it in reverse and have them with their force and my force pushing both of us and then hitting with the trunk <laughs> so I mean for what it's worth that's a majority of what that Concy was was just people freight training each other and honestly I enjoyed it it stayed together for a good while throughout that Concy 
no ratchet straps, seats broke. Interior is somewhat still in the car because we couldn't open those doors because it was rolled. Airbags still in, just disconnected. And this one was stabbed. Um, so when people say there's no good derbies around for bone stock, there's plenty of shows for bone stock. You just gotta find the right car for it. You can't run rust. You can't run the biggest piece of shit you find because you're gonna get hurt. So if you spend 150 bucks and find something as good a shape as this, something that was rolled over and not too rusty, this only had some rocker rust, then you will be well off. <laughs> but that's from my personal experience. I've ran stock, I've ran mod, I've ran just about everything these past few years because everything's been all over for derby seasons. But you can see just how stock is. They allowed a four, uh, a four inch insert on your frame. You were allowed four inches to mount the bumper on of frame stuff material, aka bumper shock stuff. That's what they were saying that rule was, but in all honesty, it was just an excuse for people to cheat, and I'll show you why. I'm not going to say that I wasn't or anything like that. This side's ripped off, but you can see. That's solid bar, ladies and gentlemen. This is my personal car, and I will point it out. That is solid bar, four inches back, solid. I mean steel. That side's got it too. You can see the frame rail right here. Four inches back. That's where it bent. That's the material. Bumper's still on because the sheet metal's still on that side. But other than that, we ripped the sheet metal completely off on this side. That's just showing what we were allowed. And I'm sure people took it beyond that. So... For a bone stock car to hold up that well against certain cars like that and other bone stocks, then I will definitely be buying more of these because that's pretty ridiculous. Maybe it was just a one-time thing and we got lucky. I don't know. But we will see and we will try this again. Maybe even a sedan, maybe an air wagon. Who knows? I would prefer to try to grab an auto. As much as I like these five speeds in Derby, if you get hit hard enough and you're not expecting it and your foot's not either on the clutch or you're not in the neutral then you're gonna stall out and you're gonna that's one more time that you may not start back up because you never know what could get cut under the hood or anything like that so I want to try and get a uh, an automatic just to try this out for this next one I know at the end of the concy this thing was really high and it was bogging to keep going and everything else but it did at the end start back up and that was the last startup was at the end of the heat it was really hot though so i think that may have been before the heat, before it started up. i could be wrong it could still be fine and not seized but i wouldn't be surprised if it is but i'll catch up with you all later just another car, move on to the next one. Later.